Hey guys, this is your boy Rusian, and yes, we're back. We're back with the videos. Thank you all very much for your good wishes. As you guys know, a lot of things happened the last month or so. Um, right now, I'm just trying to get back to do what I love to do. I been planning. To, I had been planning to actually have start the videos about a week, a week or so ago, but I had to help my dad. As you guys notice, I decided today to wear my city shirt. That's Astoria, Queens, in New York City. If you guys are not from there, you should go there. There's some really nice place, some really nice Irish bars. So you know what? Great place to visit. You know, most after that coronavirus goes away, people are gonna be traveling more. That gonna be amazing. I probably gonna be going there back. So, anyway, with further ado, let's start with the video. Today is 24 July 2020, and this is Rappelzi News. Hey guys, welcome back to the news. And since the last update, there are a lot of changes that happened. So I'm gonna have to cheat. All right, so. I'm gonna be pretty much reading a lot of them and explaining what the, some of those changes mean. And just bear with me, all right? So, max character level increased to 220. This will help a lot of people uh, on the Citadel. The only question I have, and it may cause problems, is we still have the high level dungeon, and I'm not saying people can solo, a lot of people can solo uh, DD. But the problem with increasing the level is it's going to become easier for a lot of players to pretty much solo the dungeon, not need help, and kind of kill some of the parties. My hope is that a new dungeon is at the works, but I cannot actually confirm or deny that, so let's see how that goes. Now, next, can no longer join Deathmatch 10 minutes after starting time. Points lower for killing people who have already been killed a lot during Deathmatch. Great, in my opinion. Um, that may end up with some of issues I've seen in the past in games where people actually have a friend allowing them himself to be killed so people can score higher points. That works for me. Resurrection time in Deathmatch changed from 10 seconds to 10 plus points divided by 500 plus death times 2 seconds. Look, numbers, that's for rich people. Um, I'm not going to do that math, you guys can do it. All right, additional UI upgrade. So this UI upgrade gave maybe a few issues for people. Uh, I know European servers, People, a lot of people have to manually patch. A lot of people have issues uh, coming back to the game. They had on the 22nd a downtime. I believe it was to fix some of those issues. So, I mean, maybe good. I don't know. I haven't had, uh, just want you guys to understand, I have not had time. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I've been really busy to actually get in the game. So I could not pass a lot of those changes. All right, so creature farm renewal. You can trade old creature farm tickets via the NPC. Again, I know I have a lot of them. Not really sure how uh, that is working right now. I'm gonna have to check, update you guys as soon as I can. Secret remains of the ancients added. All right, that was uh, what I had talked about the last video, uh, I was brought in by a player to actually take a look at that. And I don't know how that's working. Um, my problem with some of those secret dungeons is they get really crowded with the same players. Uh, but again, it's the same problem that people already have with um, the remains of the ancient. So I don't know how much gonna change, at least that's another dungeon opened and that may allow more people to actually be there. It may also help people to actually be able to level faster between 160 and 175. 
I always found that that's the worst grind I have ever had was in this between 160 to 175. It just takes too long. Again, the real grind is after 170, but it still it still takes too long. So maybe Secret Dungeon will help this issue. Let's see. All right, seven new pets added. Flores Picks, Wind Pixie, Ethereal Pixie, Crystal Spider, Crystal Golem, Blotter Slaughter, and Grandmaster Act Hector. So that's great. Um, I love to see new pets. If you guys have been playing the game for years, you know that pets was the thing that really got this game to be what it is, even today. Um, a lot of times I feel some of the pets were abandoned, so I like to see new pets. Now, big question is how hard the cards are to drop and how good the pets are actually to play with. So, still something I gotta be checking. I'll let you guys know the next video my experience with, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> Alright, so... Max creature level increased to 210, that's great. And the most if uh, max character level increased to 220. Again, something to see. Um, I really don't use pets that much, so I don't know how good that will be for me. Let's see. Alright, another thing that we had been we had talked a few months ago was there were going to be some changes to the tyrant. No. Uh, Berserkers and Oracles. So here are the changes. All right, so Barbarian Rage. Great. Because before you got no physical attack bonus and now you actually get seven plus level times 2.1 plus card times 0.6. That's gonna help because Berserkers really, really needed a boost. Hopefully, it's gonna stick this way. I probably gonna play my Zerk. See how things go. See how I like the changes. Uh, Earthshaker, great. That got a uh, increased radius. It got increased uh, number of enemies that get damaged. And there are other changes. Spherical Cannon, Will of Destiny, Energy of Berserker, uh, still presence. So good changes. Some of them got their Time increase, some of them got damage increase. Again, something that needs to be checked. Uh, you guys have that full list on the website, so just check it out. Uh, you can find that in announcements. So I would do that. I'm not going to read through all of those because I know you, your time is precious. And really, me just saying you guys can barely write down the information. So let's see. All right, for the Oracle, the big change is on Dignity. It seems, and that's by my math, that the CD reduction actually got lower by half. I really don't play Oracle. I don't know how much that's going to affect the people, and I don't think most Oracle is going to be happy. But then again, a lot of people don't play Oracle, so they'd be okay. All right, so Death Tyrant got Physical Awakening and Monarch Body Awakening Priest um, by level and duration, so that's great. The No got Reflecting Shield, uh, actually great, that got the, the duration increased. Again, I don't play many with bats, uh, mostly because... Ooh, that goes. All right, mostly because I used to play pet class in the beginning of the game. I played for a long time, and when I felt that the pet class were not actually getting the boost they needed, I pretty much abandoned that. The most because they're the most expensive classes to play, and it wasn't the best thing for me. So that was pretty much my issue with pet class. Hopefully, in the future, near future, hopefully. It's going to be something that's going to happen, but we need to wait and see. All right, so for events, Summarize Princess event is started, and it's probably going to be going for a couple of weeks still. Hopefully going to go for over two weeks. Um, cannot confirm, deny that. That is, for me, probably one of the top three events of the year, uh, pretty much because it got way too much stuff free. 
All right, so summarize Prince's event. How does that work? You need to collect ties. So, in every city you have two exchange options. One of them is a cooler for 20 ice or a nice box for 50 ice. Now, I don't know how good they're dropping the ice. One thing I, I always find out is the best place for you to farm for the most part, it's gonna be on the underground dungeons or you will find in the circus. I don't know, sometimes uh, some of the events you can find in lower level dungeons, really big drops, and it's not an issue. But for the most part, I feel safer in circus, the drops are usually better, so I usually go there. All right, so what do you get with the cooler with 20 eyes? Let's see, you get a nice survey, ripe, five ripe tomatoes, swimsuit set, seven days, rest 10, ice skate, seven days, Sled seven days, number box one, power of change armor, non trait two, ice, you may get five ices for 20, and stamina saver, non trade. If you trade the ice box for 50 ice, ripe tomato, 30, ice, 25, stamina saver, non trade one, swimsuit set, 28 days, one, special health potion, three, special mana potion, three. Animal Cracker, 1. Devil's Blessing, non trade 2. Numbered Box, 4. Power of Change Armor, non trade 5. Altered Almighty Pieces, Enhanced, 2. Random Buff Card, 1. World Blessing Box, 28 Days, 1. God Mother Fairy Bottle, non trade 2. E Repair, 1 Day, 1. So, I have not been in the game this week, so I cannot confirm or deny a lot of those things, but as it's saying on the list, you do not have issues with ripe tomatoes, they're timed. Now, again, have not seen, don't know for sure. A lot of the items that always get timed are not timed. Now, why do I assume that? Because they show the time for most of the items. If not, ripe tomatoes all day, and that's gonna be great. I would farm the hell out of those ices because I'll tell you those ripe tomatoes help a lot in the most. It's not showing as time, it's not showing as non-trade and those are the kind of things that you hold as much as you can sometimes for the whole year until the next event. So that's amazing. Now it's like I said, a lot of those things I cannot confirm or deny, I usually pass them in the game, I have not had the chance, I apologize for that. But I will test this week. I may make a quick video just to give you guys an idea what I think about this event. How easy or hard, best place for you to farm. You know, things like that. Again, guys, I hope you guys like the new studio. Uh, I'm trying to change the style a little bit, you know. A lot of things change for me, so I should change a lot of things. Again, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Give me a like if you like this video. Thanks for staying until the end. And I'll be seeing you guys in the game really soon.